So I haven't seen a lot of YouTube people calling each other out to do like random challenge videos or whatever. So I'm going to bring that back for just one night only. So DB Kicks, Homegrown Kicks, ACS Sneakers. Let's see you guys knock out one of these types of videos. Hey, what is up YouTubers and YouTubies? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's always good to see you. I'm your boy HG and we back up in here because we belong here. I belong here, you belong here. It's all love around here. Now, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to become part of the homegrown family. Hit that notification bell as well so that you can be notified every time I drop another video like this. If you're already subscribed and you're returning family, welcome back, man. Love, 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 love. But don't forget to hit that like button. Get down in the comment section below and let me know everything you want to talk about. That's for your voice to be heard, and I love interacting with each and every one of you all. Uh, click that description arrow so you can check out timestamps. If you make it towards the end of the video, bless you, man. I greatly appreciate it. Um, in the description, I leave links to my other social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So go ahead and check that out. Now, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I was challenged by a good friend of mine, Shoes Up Sleeves Down, to a third quarter pickup third quarter being the month of July, August, and September. And the reason I chose to do this is because it gives me a really good opportunity to show you all the pickups in those last three months. Um, I greatly appreciate everybody who's still been hanging on there with me. You don't know how much that means to me. But before I show you all the three months of pickups, something doesn't feel right, man. It's I, I don't know how to describe it, but maybe this will help. Ah, much better. It just didn't feel right to do a shoes up, sleeves down issue challenge without this awesome t-shirt. If you want to know where to get it, hit me down in the comment section below or message me on IG and I'll let you know all the details. It's pretty dope, man. What do you think? I liked it. I had to get it. It's from Wrestling Tees. Like I said, if you want to know the information or the link to the uh, website, go ahead and hit me up. Now, as you know, your boy HG don't back down from no challenges. Uh, well, mostly no challenges, you know, with the few exceptions. We, we're not doing dumb stuff out here. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Let me get this out of the way. Got my water over here in case I get thirsty because the video is going to get lengthy. And let's start with these right here. The Adidas Calabasas. Hello now, there. This shoe, I didn't necessarily buy. I, I didn't pay for it. Um, I got lucky and stumbled across these. I found these. They were a little dirty and uh, hey, what do you know? They're my size too. So I grabbed them, took them home, cleaned them up and look at these, man. Just came out really, really nice. No scuffs, no heel drag, none of that. Just a good pair of shoes. Will I keep them? I don't know because I got this whole weird thing about used shoes. Uh, maybe I'll do a giveaway for them, size 10 and a half, and maybe somebody viewing can be a lucky winner and you do whatever it is you want to do with them. I, I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. Should I give them away? Uh, should I keep them? Should I sell them? Y'all let me know down in the comment section below. Moving on to the next shoe. It is the uh, Air Jordan 13 Obsidians, a really good shoe. I like the color, blue is my favorite color. If you all didn't know, 13 is my favorite silhouette. I picked up multiple pairs because that's what I do on this channel. You can catch me reviewing uh, grade school sizes and toddler sizes. So go ahead and check out some of my backlog videos of those. I've got some toddler reviews coming soon. Yeah, a really good shoe in my opinion. A lot of people slept on these. You might be able to catch them on sale because in my mall they are still sitting along with the uh, Jordan 11 Low IEs and uh, the Bordeaux sixes. So you might catch them on a little bit of a sale, but don't wait too long because you know the resale sharks are out here waiting to pluck them off the shelves and charge higher prices. Um, now, speaking of GS, I'm just gonna show you a random pair right now because I was talking about the GS, but speaking of, here is a GS pair of Jordan 5 Oreos. And uh, there are a lot of differences in the GS pairs compared to the adult pairs. 
And if you want to know what those differences are, go ahead and check out some of my reviews, man. They're all there, Tiny Toddler Reviews. Now, getting into the next pickup, One of those shoes that uh, I wasn't too excited about, and you can find out why if you go back and look at this review, and they're the Air Jordan 4 White Oreos. Now, don't get me wrong. You can never really mess up a all-white shoe. Um, the materials, I had an opinion about the materials. I had an opinion about the whole thing, because that's what we do uh, around here. We voice our opinions, but... Um, I think I will leave my opinion a mystery in this video and just go ahead and send you over to the review for this and you can find out my thoughts and views and opinions on this shoe. But yes, the Air Jordan 4 White Oreo was another pickup for me. Moving on and uh, a shoe that not a lot of people like. It's kind of under the radar. It's been around for a really long time. It is the Nike Air Presto what the and i had to bring out both pairs and let you all see them because they are both extremely different what y'all think what do y'all think i don't know it's a combination of all of the prestos that have been releasing over the last couple of months i won't say year but the last couple of months starting back in november of last year i believe it, correct me if i'm wrong but yeah as you can see the different aspects of each shoe a really good shoe in my opinion a lot of co uh, a lot of crazy colors but the colors aren't too crazy to where you can't work with them now the next one right here and I'm pretty sure you can tell by the vibrant box lid what it is it is the Air Jordan 4 Lightning now as you can see that is an eBay tag I was not able to hit on uh, any raffles I wasn't able to hit on sneakers so I had to buy them off of eBay where they guarantee authentication of any shoe over $100. That's the key point, any shoe over $100. And uh, so yeah, I got the verification tag right there. Boom, there you go. A review for these will be coming soon. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below of the Lightning Force. And I will save my thoughts and opinions on these for that review that is coming. So you'll just have to be tuned in hit that notification bell and don't forget to subscribe get the next pickup you got a jump man sticker so you got an idea of what it is and it is a tiny toddler obsidian 13 and like i said i will do full size runs on this channel whenever i get the opportunity and here's an example. I got a toddler pair. I've got a GS pair as well. It's a family affair around here, man. That's why we call it Homegrown Kicks, man. Duh. That's what the name insinuates, man. Everything is homey, family related, something. The Air Jordan 13 Obsidians in a toddler sizing. A review coming for these as well. Differences through all three sizes, I will say that. The next shoe that I picked up this month, oh, we'll get in, you know the box. We'll talk about it. It is a Jordan 1, you know this. I've had a lot of crazy stories and to tell you all with Jordan 1s, um, I did a review on these. The Air Jordan 1 Electro Orange. I think, um, like I renamed these the Air Jordan 1 Daybreaks because it just reminds me of the sun rising at dawn. And what y'all think of that name, man? That, that name is crazy. Um, I didn't show it in the video, but when I picked these shoes up from Finish Line and I opened them up to do a review, a roach jumped out of the box, man. Oh my God, I, I, I lost, I almost lost my soul on that one. And um, I didn't put it in the review because I wanted to give Finish Line an opportunity to you know, kind of take care of me on it and fix it, and they did it. Like, I never got a response back. Um, if anything, I haven't been able to hit on a sneaker really since then, so I don't know, man. But, man, you're talking about a skin-crawling experience. <sighs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I've had some crazy stories 
with Jordan 1s. Um, another one being the metallic Jordan 1s. Go check that video out. It's down in uh, my catalog of videos. The next shoe from Foot Action. Foot Action, the Flex app. Um, I've been lucky to hit on that because uh, for a while I had been blackballed from the Flex app, but I'm gonna show y'all these. And these will be the first time I'm looking at them as well. And it is the Air Jordan 5 Oreo adult sizing again. Y'all saw the toddler sizing earlier. And uh, mm, mm, is all I gotta say. Stay tuned for that review so you can find out what that mm, really means. <laughs> Um, uh, Champs. Yeah, I've been hitting a lot on Champs, man. Champs has really been hooking your boy up, helping him, helping me with these reviews. And, uh, what is it? Ooh, this is the first time I'm looking at these. Oh, dang, I'm giving away kind of the review. But it is the Air Jordan 5 Shattered Backboards. I forgot what the official name is for these. Um, but here they are a review coming soon better late than never I'm so sorry once again stay tuned for my thoughts and opinions on those let me know what you think about those down in the comment section below did you go for those or did you wait for the uh, women's release those blue ones I forgot the name of them ocean blue something blue like that but uh, I wanted a pair, and let's just say I did not get them, but that does not mean I won't get my hands on a pair. You know, like everybody says, no L's, just delayed W's at the end of the day. Getting into the next shoe, let's get down here. It is the Toddler Air Jordan 4 Lightnings, a review coming soon for these as well. And I'll probably be saying that a lot, because a lot of these shoes, I've done reviews on them and just hadn't put the videos out. Getting into the next one, what is this? Ah, another Obsidian 13. Um, I ended up hitting for multiple pairs and I just basically grabbed them to kind of, you know, stack my points. Um, and I'm also doing it to be able to give people an opportunity to get a pair of shoes that they want for retail. Resellers are really kind of ruining it for a lot of people. So if I, if ever you all need a pair and I can hit on a pair in your size, let me know. I will try to do my best for you and you can just get them for retail plus the cost of shipping. Um, it is my way of giving back to everybody that supports me and everybody that supports the sneaker game, but does not have the the know-how or the means to get what they're looking for at retail. Uh, let's see, the next one, one of my favorites, one of my favorites, it is the Air Jordan 1 Pollen. Go ahead and check out the review I did for that. I've got a adult GS and toddler size review coming, or well, already out there. The only one that's needs to be done is the toddler size review because I hit on a late stock release. So yeah, that one hadn't been put out yet, but it is coming to give the parents an idea who have little ones an idea of the quality and what they are investing their money in when they're sharing their hobbies. Cause that's all this is, is sharing your hobbies with your kids and things like that. Now. I don't know if this is the, no, this is not the last one, but this is close to the last one. So we're gonna start to wrap it up a bit. This pickup was an accident. I promise you all it was an accident and um, you know, things happen and oh, man, it is right here. The Nike SB Maui Wowies. I promise you all when I say this was an accidental pickup, um, Stay tuned for the video to find out what I mean by that. But let me know down in the comment section below, is this a good accident or a bad accident? And uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. 
stay tuned for the video. I don't know if I said that. I, I know I said it throughout the entire video, but you know, just just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. Uh, the next pickup, the next pickup is from Vans. A lot of people don't even follow YouTube for Vans, but I picked these up on my birthday, um, which was in August, August 12th, at the outlet. If you all know, I love Vans. So on a live last night, I said these are the most versatile, comfortable, uncomfortable shoes out there. Um, and if you wear Vans, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Loved them so much, I had to get them again. I got these for a great price. Uh, for any kids out there or any students out there, um, these are a really versatile shoe at a really great price, affordable price, and they look stylish with any type of outfit. You can dress these up, you can go casual. Any situation, these are pretty much good for. And he's got like a really sick challenge that I might show y'all in uh, on Instagram. It's crazy what these vans can do. Um, now I think this might be the last shoot, but it is these right here, a tiny toddler shoe. What are these? The Nike SB Social Status Collab Free Lunch Chocolate Milk, and check that out. Check that out. There's a lot going on with this shoe, um, a lot to see, a lot to appreciate. And if you want to learn what those things are and what's going on with this shoe, stay tuned for the review. You already know. I think that is it. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you to Shoes Up Sleeves Down for issuing this challenge. It really got me back into my groove because I had been out of my groove for a while. I think I'm going to issue the same challenge to a few people. Uh, Kings 23 Kicks, if you're around and you catch this video, I want to see what you picked up in the last three months. Bobby's Sneaker World, I want to challenge you as well. Um, and Sneaker Lover 83, I want to see everything you've picked up. Uh, join me in this colossal mess. Now, with that being said, I can't leave y'all without saying nothing is impossible except for maybe this cleanup I'm going to have to do. Uh, <laughs> fight for everything you believe in. Don't let anything stand in your way, especially not these shoe boxes and dream hungry. Until next time, I will catch you all later. Peace. Shh.